Hey, this is John Carlos, and I'm here with a look at the GameStop exclusive Glow in the Dark 10th Doctor Regeneration Funko Pop from Doctor Who. Normally I'm not a fan of when Funko takes the head of one figure and puts it on the body of another and calls it an exclusive, but in the case of Doctor Who, that sort of thing happens on the show when the character regenerates into another Doctor, so I think in this case, Funko doing this is pretty awesome. Also, the fact that they gave it a glow-in-the-dark element makes it not just slapping a head on a body. Now there is a subtle difference between this, you can see he's wearing the black shirt that he wears in his last episode, whereas the regular pop features the purple v-neck. Um, we did see the black v-neck uh, in the uh, exclusive uh, banana variant of the figure, but it's nice to see him in the black shirt but holding the uh, sonic screwdriver for this. So that's cool. Um, and it's the same tenant head that we've seen with every other 10th uh, Doctor Pop. But the actual body here looks pretty good as far as like the separation of the shininess of his jacket versus the, uh, the more muted tone of his black v-neck. The pants look good. I mean, the shoes look good and shiny too. The wrinkling of the pants is nice. The sculpt of the jacket is great. Um, one thing worth noting is his hands are not made of the typical kind of vinyl like, it's not as solid as, say, the neck. You could, I mean, as solid as the head. You could see the neck and the hands have a slight kind of lighter, you know, kind of a ghostly sheen to them. That's because I think they're the glow-in-the-dark element to it. Um, but the sonic screwdriver looks great in his hand. I think it's a nice little sculpt. I like the little gray sections at the end, and the blue painted tip looks good. And, as usual, the uh, David Tennant head looks great with his, you know, modern sort of hair, all sticky-uppy. They did a great sculpt of that. I like the, the paint follows it pretty well. Uh, I like the the eyebrows, the sculpt, the uh, the design of these eyebrows. The little arch to them really does reflect Tenant's attitude. And this one's got good eyeball paint. All in all, just standing there on a shelf, as far as the regeneration pop goes, I like this. I like seeing Tenant in this outfit. It makes for a cute pop on its own terms. Now let's go look and see if it can glow in the dark well or not. Now I left this outside in the direct sunlight for 10 minutes and put it directly in front of a bulb for several minutes, and I can't see the glowing effect on the camera at all. Now it's not just that my camera didn't pick up the glowing effect, to my naked eye I could barely, barely see any glowing at all. Like on a scale of 1 to 10, I gotta say the glowing effect was at a .05. Now if you've seen my other Funko reviews of glow-in-the-dark pop figures, you might have noticed a recurring motif, which is, when Funko says it glows in the dark, it probably doesn't. But despite that, look at this, it's a regeneration pop of the 10th Doctor, it's Tenant, it's still cute, I still dig it. Thanks for watching, folks.